it's now six in the morning. Plenty of time for everybody to start waking up and get ready for school and all kind of stuff. Apparently, the monkey been running around the house all night. And now monkey is adventurous, and ain't nobody told him to take his ass around the house and be adventurous. He just lucky I couldn't catch him. <laughs> Everyone's crying because dad is dead. That's not the our problem right now. Oh, shoot. We got to do laundry. We definitely, for real, for real, going to have to get um a maid now if we doing laundry. Because I don't intend to do laundry. Shoot. Where the house phone at? I don't even know where the house phone is. I'm going to use my cell phone. Shoot. Like, we need services. We're going to call for them damn services right away. Nate still got soda in his pocket. That's from college. Oh, shoot. Is he late for work? Oh, shoot. Run. Run. I forgot. Nate's a doctor and he is late for work now. Nate, you better get your ass up. Ivy's birthday? We ain't got time to worry about Ivy's birthday. You need to get to work. You gonna be crying if you lose your job, boy. He seriously out here still crying. No, you gotta go to work. You gotta go to work. And you gotta work hard. He is late. No, what they said in two hours, nine o'clock. I don't care. He he need to go. Oh, maybe they called it in for like an emergency shift or something like that. I don't know. Maybe they paged them because it was up there. It said go to work and you're missing work. So just go. The emergency page do. Have a good day at work. Um, he's level seven, so he be at the top of his career. Um, at level 10. Okay, so not bad. His mood's not great. I don't know. Oh, he's hungry. That's why. He wants a soda. Was he outside the building? Because he can have a soda if he's outside the building. Wait, I'm going to let him drink that soda. Hold on. Oh, it won't let him stop. I'm about to say drink your soda, then go inside. Yeah, drink your soda, and then get in there. Is there a teeny tiny kitten in the snow? Oh no, kitten. Did I say ratchet cat? Oh hell no. Nah. We don't want no ratchet cat. That ratchet cat can stay right there. Fuck that talking about ratchet cat. Oh my god, but he's kind of cute oh. though. Free, Kezzy. <laughs> ratchet cat. Why are you covered in like green goo? You a ghostbuster chase? I do feel bad for this for this little kitten though. I do. Anyway, he's he's in work. Oh, she didn't even get the call services. She's on her way to school. She's reading a book for work in bed. Okay, we're gonna have to fix up her clothes too. Her clothes look terrible. And we back with that gray blob again. Okay. Um, she'll have to curl call the services then, cause I ain't clean up this whole house. Do you see how big this house is? Ain't no way in the world I'm cleaning up this house all by myself. And I hear the cat. I don't know where the cat at, though. Here's the cat. Hey, kitty. Kitty has to pee. Um, kitty don't have a litter pan? Oh, yeah, right here. So why are you whining that you got to pee? Oh, you're crying because of dead people. Oh. oh, free clinic. Ooh, we don't want to do a free clinic. I want to get promoted. I don't want to do a free clinic. Yeah, I don't want to do a neighborhood free clinic. I want him to do, like, his work like he's supposed to. I don't want to help people. Is that for the free clinic? That's best in show. Where do they want him to do the free clinic at? At this main jail park? I mean, I guess. I'll go do the free clinic. I'll, I'll help the less fortunate. But I better get a damn promotion, though, for helping the unfortunate. Now, what's going on with the baby? The baby probably needs social, right? Yep, I knew it. This thing is great for watching your kid, but it's horrible for social. Mommy can play with him in a little bit, though. Let's see. I'm sure the animals are fine. The horse, technically, is just eating hay, but needs to pee. I can't even make the horse pee right now, can I? The horse is dirty. Horse needs a bath. Okay, hold on. We're supposed to be doing this free clinic. I forgot about the free clinic already. Damn, you a vampire. What do you need a free clinic for? You're you're dead. Like, we can't... Ain't that baby mom? No. Okay. That's, that's um Bella's mama. Do I have to greet everybody? 
I just need to diagnose people, right? I'm gonna just diagnose. I don't need to greet y'all. I'm just gonna diagnose y'all. Use a vampire and a werewolf. Like, there's a vampire and a werewolf here talking about we need a diagnosis. You're you're not human. You're dead. I I, I don't know what else to tell you. And I was wrong. This town is mostly old people. Like, listen, I know we celebrity and whatnot, but you gotta stop. See, that took him off his game. He supposed to be diagnosing these poor people. Oh, they said, we not friends. Okay. You ain't gotta be. Yeah, we need a maid, please. Every day, all day. Oh, there we go. Oh, look at a little cute Siamese cat. Eh? Oh, ain't that BB's dad? That's his grandpa. His no, ain't it's not his no, that's Bo and no. That's someone else. Never mind. I can't remember whoever it is. Why y'all so all unnatural though? When did you become like a fairy elf? Oh no. Give him a shot. Oh, I thought he was just gonna give him a shot. He's scanning him. There we go. We took care of one person at least. Take a break from that plane. Don't nobody want to hear you, girl. I thought this was going to be easy. Too many people showed up for this free clinic. So y'all telling me ain't none of y'all got insurance? Not one of you got... Really? Y'all even got Medicaid? Medicaid, they pay 80% of your bill. I don't even think you got a co-payment on Medicaid. I know I didn't. <laughs> She burning the sun. You're a vampire. You need to get into the shade. That's your diagnosis. Okay? You're burning the sun. You need sunblock 500. Maybe even 600. You're fair skinned. Oh, did the. What the. Hands up, punched that hoe in the stomach. That is not good doctoring. She got llama tail. How was that llama tail? Y'all, y'all just doing the most. That's all I'm gonna say. Y'all doing the most. I'm gonna try my best to help all these people. I wanna treat the old people first. Cause they probably got arthritis and everything. And it's snowing so you know that's gonna like flare up their fibromyalgia. You know what I'm saying? And then she just pounced away. Treatment was successful. She's now recovered from, from what, though? She's recovered from being a bad bitch. Is that what it was? She's a bad bitch. She had bad bitch syndrome. <laughs> Tiffany Rich, a tourist. Okay. They bored acting like they in a waiting room. You are literally outside in the snow while it's snowing in a park waiting for some free medical care. Like, you don't get to tell me you're bored. I'm bored treating all your uninsured asses. Oh, come on now. It ain't hurt that much, ho. You doing too much. You are not going to French. Not on my dime. Not on my dime. Bam. You're feeling better? That's great. What was ailing you? Because I don't know. I would appreciate if all the people who've been treated would leave because you're here and you shouldn't be. Is that BB's dad? See, there we go. That's BB's dad. I know he was still alive living as a fairy. He got pink wings and everything. He there all about his child. Like, dude, you're out here in the snow in, in shorts. You're going to get the common cold. I already know it. You're going to fuck around and get some flu. There we go. <laughs> I like when they scream. How's everyone else doing? She's playing with a cat. She should be eating. She needs to go eat. There's leftovers in the fridge. She's going to eat cake, of course. Who the hell is this? Paparazzi. We don't treat paparazzi around here. I mean, I don't see anything physically wrong with you. You just got bad fashion sense. 
So what are you? Are you like an elf werewolf? What? I think, I guess you're a werewolf. Cause he ugly enough to be. He ugly enough to be. This is gonna make things some, okay, free clinic is, is over. All right, so I ain't gotta take care of none of your asses no more. I'm going back to work. Ten ceremony. Sure, you can attend your ceremony, honey. Nah, I want to stay here with you. I want to go back to work. They won't let him go back to work for two days and nineteen hours, and he lost like so much. No. What was the point of me doing the free clinic? They won't let. Nah, I can't go back to work. He lost so much. I'm going home then. That's bullshit. He was on his way again, promoted again. I did that free clinic and they screwed me up. I'm mad. Ooh, if I had stayed before he went to work, we would be going backwards. I'm mad about that. Is he a workaholic? Because then he can just do that on the computer. From now on, I'm going to make them all workaholics. So that they can get on the computer and just do what they gotta do. I'm mad as hell. He's hungry too. So she got home from school. She has a ceremony she's supposed to be attending. Um, is it now? When is it? Oh, the ceremony's now. Okay. Ivy has a recital. The entire household will attend if they can make it. Oh, okay. I didn't realize this was like a whole family thing. Forget that cake. You ain't eating none. Yeah, we just leave you home alone. You good, son. You good. He a little hungry. He bear right. We get babysitter. It's okay. I mean, the father can't be there to attend, so we gotta be there. Are we supposed to be going? Aw. He started crying and getting a call from work, so he didn't answer. That's messed up. Oh, well, at least we don't got to pay for nothing now. Let me feed you since you're so hungry. And then we're going to get go get some goofy, okay? So at least, like, her sister-in-law went with her to her recital. That was nice. Someone went because, damn, she's about to be alone. I know she's about to do good, though. Shoot. I appreciate no you don't need to try and get to know him no better no no you don't so he want to eat he want to go to the bathroom we ignored that phone call he got pee there's no potty down here so he just gonna pee on himself in fact we supposed to be aging you up we're gonna do that today party invitation we were never friends. Why are we going? We would never go to your party. We ain't friends. I'm just sad that his whole promotion thing got messed up. No, I know you not, dog. I know you not, dog. Hold up. Forgot. I can control the damn dog. I know you not. How do you fix a dog's destructiveness? You better go outside and play with something. You better ever go chase a damn ball. Stupid ass dog. Tearing up my shiite. <laughs> Baby, you peeing yourself yet? Because you just crying for no reason. I ain't got time for it. Dang, that's a big TV. Let him come watch TV. He washing up. After he done, he can come watch TV too. I can, oh, okay. After school, accomplished. Okay. So she can go on back home. You going back home with her. We about to do some birthday party. That we finna do. Did you pee yet or nah? He just crying. Can he even walk? He can walk. He was faking the funk. Yeah, you finna grow up. You could pee on yourself after you a grown child. Okay. He crying. Yeah, I'm about to take away his sadness because he crying too damn much. Everyone who's upset about death need to just stop that shit right now. Because everybody moaning and groaning, acting like they know he was fitting to die soon, okay? Baby fitting to pee on himself. That's not a problem. Let's get a table and get some cakes, okay? 
Lord, I wish someone would shoot me if I ever cried that much over because he got a pee. So he crying. That's what your diaper is for, honey. Okay, so y'all both growing up. She moving out. Um, I mean, oh, she got lots of points. I don't, she ain't got enough points to do too much, but she got enough points though. So she need to blow out her candles. And then we're going to set him up to get his candles blown out. Okay? I don't know what hoe keep calling him. But he got a wife, so you better stop. Because she don't play that game. Dog, you know better. Get the hell off that couch. Anyway, it's not like the happiest birthday because... The father just died, but it's it's good enough. It's good enough. Happy birthday, Ivy and Nathaniel the third. Happy birthday. She looks semi happy. That's good enough. The dog won cake. You can't have it. Monkey monkey said Mika in my way. <laughs> there we go. Oh, she grew up looking busted. Okay. That's the look you chose? Green thumb? Alright. We saw in this cake, though. We saw in these cakes. We saw in this table back, too. Mm-hmm. That's the way you want to live your life in that outfit. Okay. Well, we'll at least give her a makeover for when she move out. Uh, because you are fitting to move out, though, we're confiscating all the things you own. Um, we're just gonna take all of that. None of that's for you. Um, is that her, her prom picture? That's a picture of her family. You know, she can have that one. You know, she can have her little trophy, too. Certain things we'll let her keep. Let's, let's start putting her stuff in her pocket. She can keep her little family photos, her prom picture. We wouldn't take that from her. Um, that's it. She can't keep nothing else. Oh, is that the painting she did? Or is that the one her mama did? I think she did that painting. Yeah, we're going to sell all of that. All of that. She does want to go into science. Okay, that's fine. Um, We'll get you a little science job. And then you can move on out the house. So go get the science job first. Where's the science lab? Over here? Okay. Go get you a job, baby. And then when you come back, we'll, we'll give you a makeover. So, like, you can look suitable and we can actually tell people, like, hey, that's our sister. Just because she looked like Raggedy Ann don't mean she is. You know what I'm saying? And now Nate the Third's growing up. No music for some reason. I guess the game file is a little janky. He's a moocher? No. In fact, nah, we're not going to leave it up to chance. we picking his traits. Is workaholic a something a child can have as a trait? Yes, they can. Boom. Workaholic. Okay, that's the pants you grew up in? Okay, oh, you cockeyed. All right. I don't, I don't blame you, baby. I ain't judging you. So, okay, this is definitely a child's room. But um, can he get a makeover? He can make over himself in here, right? Cool. And he peed on himself, so he's going to need to take a shower. He just standing there. That's kind of creepy. You just standing in places. You never finished reading that book either. He need to finish reading his medical journals. Yo, another hoes calling. What ho hoes keep calling for him though? Yeah, there we go. She got the job at science center. Mika is just outside in the snow. I don't know why. She kind of needs a makeover too because I don't know what's going on with her outfit. I made sure that um Nathaniel looked good. All the boys looking right. She looking busted, however. They said take an extremely clean shower. I mean, okay, I guess. <laughs> okay, baby. Yeah, I'm seeing the problem. It's your face. Let's fix that. Um Now there is some black in this family, so he can have a little fade. He can have a little fade. But he was black. He's like one fourth black. He got a little span. Get some lashes. He got a little Spanish in them. There we go. Got to fix his everyday clothes though, cause oof. Why he got gnome shirt with them shorts though? Well, with them pants. 
buy a little Angry Bird t-shirt. That's kind of cute. I like that. He can have a little Angry Bird t-shirt. Got some cute sneaks to go with it. Those look cute. His everyday wasn't bad. It's his other outfit. So I'm going to go fix those and we'll be right back. Okay, I fixed up all of Nate the third stuff. We still got to fix up her. She's just coming home. Mika is upstairs or going upstairs. She, she, it's her, it's her sleepwear. I don't know why her sleepwear is messed up. I don't know what she was sleeping in before, but yeah, we're going to fix it. You know what? I'm not loving her everyday outfit. It's very, very Max's. It's not even sort of Max's. It's like all Max's. I ha I didn't have no custom content clothing in this game. For the adults? <laughs> At least for the women. What? No. Because shit, I feel like it's a setup. Because <laughs> shit, even that's better. And that's not even that cute, but that's better. At least it's not Max's. That's kind of cute. We can throw her in that. That says like small town hoe. I kind of like them shoes with it too. I like this. She ain't got no nails though. We ain't got no fake nails for the girl. Come on now. We gotta have some fake nails. Like one pair of fake. See there we go. One pair of fake nails. That's all I needed. It don't gotta be a whole cavalcade of fake nails. Just, just, just one pair. She look muscular as fuck. I 100% believe that she's athletic. She look mad muscular. Now let me go fix up her other outfits. And then we'll go and fix up Ivy. Okay, we fixed up mama. We gotta work on sister now. Cause, ooh, in fact, sis, you don't need to go into that room. Cause technically that room ain't, no, ain't yours no more. You fitting to move out of it. Let's just get you over here. Get you made over. Ooh, and move you out. Cause, ooh, child. She, she ain't even got no gardening skills. Why in the world did you decide to go into science? You ain't got gardening huh. skills. And this family gardens. We had a garden in the backyard. <sighs> Lord, we didn't even send her to go get classes. We did not prepare for her at all. <laughs> well, she was actually the child that was never meant to happen in the first place. We needed a boy. We got our boy. We did not need to have her. We did it out of the kindness of our hearts. <laughs> There we go. Yeah, the hair is the first problem. Cause like, if you gonna have a mohawk, that's not even a mohawk. That's like a faux hawk. And the way it's colored looks bad. The way it's like sitting to the side don't look good. If you want to have like an edgy haircut, we we can do it better. Like, see, this is better. That looks a lot better. Oh, but then this like curled. Oh, and with the chunky colors in it. That's like really cute, actually. See, that's how you look pretty, honey. Because before, that what you were doing, not cute. Even that looks better. That look like it's on some Alicia Key type of shit. It just needs like some little gold chains up in it. But um, I don't know. I kind of like this one, to be honest. Uh, I don't think I have a lot. I don't have a lot of short, short haircuts with like half shade out on the side and all that kind of stuff but uh, well, the one that had this, his, that looks better than what she had she can't tell me shit okay yeah I can fix her eyebrows now I don't have any thick eyebrows in this game file I gotta add some we need a lot of stuff yeah you need fake lashes you need that honey ugh that's the everyday look Oh god is it her everyday or was that like her outerwear? I can't tell. It, I just know it looks bad. She looked like she would like futuristic clothing. And we're not going to give that to her. You know what? I know if Max is. But I bet you she would rock some diesel. She probably look cute in some diesel. Oh, no, not that. Yeah, she actually kind of looks cute in that. Do we have something like that? But that's not Max's? Because that could also be really fun. <laughs> Where's my non Maxis at? Oh, see? What? Oh, she could pull that off. She could pull that off. Oh, and then they got the Nike. I forgot I had these. Oh, snap. Okay. 
She kind of looks cute in a black one with some sneakers. Yes. She look like she ready to fight somebody. And I'm with it. She gotta wear some Nikes with it. She needs some, like, why don't white uptowns to go with it? Them Air Force Ones. I better have some Air Force Ones for female Dell. I'll be so mad if I don't. Hold on. Do I? Oh, no. If I don't have them, I'm gonna be sad. There we go. Air Force Ones. No green checkers, though. White on white. White on white. White on white. There we go. They don't look great, but that's them. <laughs> so I'm going to go finish up the rest of her outfits, and then we'll be back. Um, I'm going to throw on some nails because her, her fingers are bare. We're going to give her some nails. I'm going to finish up the rest of her outfits, and then we're going to move her on out. Okay, she's all made over. She's like, that's you. That's you in the mirror. Yeah, that is you in the mirror. Now, we fitting to move you out. Oh, and we put all the money in the bank. There's only $3,000, so she can't be too greedy about it. She better go find her punk-ass man and go get a place with him. Because we ain't giving her a ton of money to go move out now. People having fights all over the place, left and right. Okay. I'm going to change the story so we can only hear about blood, because I don't care about all these people fighting. Shit. Ivy, you're moving out alone, honey. You don't even know it yet. She don't have a friend she can go stay with. Because she need to go find her own way. She's like, nah, I absolutely can't move in with any of these people. Or any of these empty lots. Then I'm sorry, sis. You're gonna, you're, we're going to have to just kick you out then. You're going to have to find your own home. Bye. She's taking $750. Two dollars with from when she go. You know what? That's fair. That's fair. I'm not even mad at her. Yo, can she take the horse too? I would love if she just took some animals with her, so I don't have to deal with them. I know one thing: when animals die, I, do you wish to play them an available lot and ignore price? Yes, sure. See, that was nice because I had story progression. They're like, this bitch is homeless. You want to shack her up somewhere? Like, sure. Why not? Why not? Let's, I wonder where she ended up at. Where did she go? Uh, where she live now? Is it gonna tell me where she moved to? I'm looking for a king household. She lives here now. Okay, she got some a two bedroom, one bath, and we didn't have to help him with none of it. She could have done better than this, though. I mean, it's not, you know, it's a, it's a lot of land, actually. No, nah, she couldn't have done better than this. Because she could have had a cardboard box. That's nice. Oh, I, she forgot her. This is her motorcycle. Oh, no. We're going to sell it then. <laughs> oh, we can't sell it. She's still moving. Oh, I meant to put that in her pocket. I, I meant for her to keep that. I'm sorry, sis. Wait, who the hell? That ain't my sis. That's just random paparazzo ho. Let's see. Everyone's pretty tired. He's being the most tired of them all. Um, I think we're gonna keep that room the way it is. Um, yeah, I know it's the girls' room is kind of like super girly, but like we're gonna put them in there. We're just gonna like make it over a little bit, just change up the color scheme a little bit. I want everybody to go see. Is a horsey playing with a ball? Yay, horsey! That better be our horse, though. Okay, that is our horse. Come on, say it's some random horse is running around playing with our ball. I ain't cool with that. We got bills, but we'll pay them in the morning. I ain't worrying about it right now. Everybody going on to sleep. Uh, she's going to work in 18 hours. He's not going to work for two days. He don't got school for two days. I guess we'll take that time, like, get him caught up with classes and stuff like that since he don't know anything. They gonna find, let me build? Okay, cool. Let me just make over the room a little bit. It is very, like, um, I don't know how you say it. It's very, it's very, it's punk rock. That's what it was. The sister was very punk rock, which it actually works in this case because, like, her style was kind of tomboyish anyhow. In fact, let's, let's fix this up a little bit. We ain't saying he punk rock, but we're just going to change it up. 
to match a little bit now, okay? There we go. We're gonna put that. Yeah, that looks okay. This carpet don't work though, unfortunately. Um, do we have, we don't have a black carpet? Okay, listen. Okay, I forgot you could color the whole floor like that. All right, cool. Now, some of this stuff in here look girly, but not like super girly. We get rid of that. Yeah, she had mushroom chairs. Yeah, she was she was into some stuff. Oh, that's kind of like his auntie painting. That's kind of cute that his auntie painting in the room. Yeah, I'm gonna leave the rest of the room uh, the way it is then. It ain't super girly no more. There we go. And we'll just leave this room the way it is because he has to have um, kids of his own one day. So that's officially like just a family nursery forever and ever. Um, we need to move them into this bedroom because that's like the main bedroom. And they don't need to be in like the sad like child's bedroom but whatever. Um, but I'm going to let them sleep and we'll do with them in the morning. I swear to God, if one more hoe call for him. This better not even be his phone ringing. It is his phone. It's always someone. Does he have a lot of friends? Maybe he do have a lot of friends. He do kind of got a lot of friends. That's another thing. Before we even fast forward till tomorrow, we need to fix the um the settings. Because I don't want to hear about every person he know. Like, blood relatives only. I don't care about nobody else. I don't want to care about nobody unless it's family. So we got some custom stories from blood relatives, and that's it. We don't care about nobody else. So we're going to fast forward, and we'll be back with them in the morning.